MCPs are pure AI magic. When I discovered MCPs, it absolutely blew my mind, but it was so confusing for me that I had to make this video to show you just how easy they are to use and how incredible they can be. So in this video, I'm gonna break down MCPs, I'm gonna explain to you how they work, what they do, and I'm gonna show you how you can use them easily. I know it seems complicated, but it's definitely not rocket science. So let's jump into this video and I'm gonna show you exactly how MCPs work. All right, so when I first started trying to figure out what MCPs were, it was pretty confusing for me. And unfortunately, I haven't found a ton of good resources. So hopefully this video will really help you out to understand MCPs and start using them. So to explain this simply, what an MCP basically is, is it's a plugin for LLM systems. And when I say LLM systems, I mean AI systems. So if you have ChatGPT, for example, and you're trying to ask it a question, right? ChatGPT does a really good job of answering questions for you, generating text and doing a bunch of stuff for you, right? But since it's just a chat bot, what you need to do is you need to connect it to other things to do really cool stuff, right? So what people are doing is they're taking ChatGPT and they're using the API to connect it to other things and building cool products, right? But what MCPs do is they're basically plugins that you can put directly into stuff like Claude and ChatGPT and it will actually do cool stuff for you. So it's basically like an app store, you could think, right? For your AI systems. So I'm gonna show you some examples here and I'm gonna show you how to basically use them. And it's kind of in its infancy stage right now. So there's very little going on in the world of MCPs, but what is going on is extremely cool. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I predict that this is gonna get absolutely massive. There's gonna be tons of people using MCPs in the future, creating MCPs to plug into a million different things and do a million different plugins. They might even replace full apps. Who knows how far this is gonna go. But right now, I just kinda of wanna show you how this works right now and show you how you can start using it and how cool this really is. So there's a bunch of ways to find MCPs. The best ways I found are going to places like glamma.ai. I'll put links to this in the description. There's another one called smithery.ai, which is pretty good as well. So these are two good resources that I have found for MCPs right now. So basically you come here and you find this. I like Glamma a little more because it gives you the, the, the JSON and I'll show you what that means in a second. Smithery makes you connect to GitHub and stuff, which I don't love. So uh, basically, like I said, these MCPs are a plugin for your AI. So there's a, different, a few different ways you can plug this in. You could use something like Cursor. So if I come to Cursor here and I go to my Cursor settings, you see there's an MCP area here. I can add a new global MCP server and I can add the JSON files here, right? So uh, essentially the way this works, I'll just show you really quickly. So let's go to this coin market cap one that I was looking at, coin market cap. So here, coin MCP server. So what you do is you basically come to the one that you wanna use, you scroll down, you, you can read this whole configuration, right? There's a lot, you, you know, you should probably follow all of these instructions here, come to the bottom and then take this JSON file here and you add this to, your global files. So if I come back here, so when I go to cursor settings, I hit add new global MCP server, you can see that the structure is MCP server, CMC, right? You can add them here. So for this one, for example, it's coin API. So I would essentially just copy this, right? I would come in here. Sorry, I keep giving away the preview of something cool that I'm doing, but come back to cursor and I just copy this right here. So you can see this bracket opens here. So if I just come here, do that. I can now add a new MCP. I, there's something I'm doing wrong here. Let's see, Let's put it here. Yeah, just like that. Maybe open one more, no. Okay, just like that. So, and then you'd save that and then you'd have your new MCP. So this is basically how you do it. So um, like I said, you could use Cursor. I actually have not been using Cursor for this and I'll show you why. I think Cursor, if you're doing programming stuff is probably the way to go, but I have a really cool use case. So like I said, there's not a ton of stuff out there right now, but the coolest thing that I found in the MCP world is this Blender MCP. So the way this works is, so you're gonna have to download Claude Desktop to do this. So go to Claude, download their desktop version, and then you're gonna set up your MCPs here. So to do this in Claude, you go to File, Settings, go to Developer, Edit Config. Now when you do this, it's gonna generate a Claude desktop config.json file, okay? Now, once it generates that, you're gonna open that file in any editor and you're gonna add your MCP. So it's the same exact thing, MCP servers, and then you add the ones you want. So I went ahead and followed the instructions here. I'll, I'll link to this GitHub also. And I added this JSON here, this Blender JSON here. There's a few other things you have to do. You have to install, see, you have to install UV. So I installed UV. 
just follow these instructions are pretty simple. Then you add, you add this JSON to Claude desktop. I skip the cursor configuration. Then you have to download this add-on.py file. You come into Blender, you go to file, or sorry, you go to, let's see, edit, preferences, add-ons, and then you come here, install from disk. You find that uh, PY file wherever you have it located and it installs it right here. You can see I already did that. Um, and here it is running. And then it's gonna show up right here and then you just hit start server and then it'll start the server and it'll start running here. So here's something that I've already started. So one of the examples that they had here, um, so, so once it's connected and that's done, all you have to do is come back to Claude Desktop. You're gonna see that you have this little hammer thing down here and you're gonna see 17 MCP tools available. That's what we just installed with the JSON file. And then you can just ask it to do whatever you want and it'll start using those MCPs to do it. So in the example here, I just followed one of his examples here, which was create a low poly scene in a dungeon with a dragon guarding a pot of gold. Today's St. Patrick's Day. So I said, hey, why not have a leprechaun guarding a pot of gold? That made sense to me. So I went ahead and said that, can you create a low poly scene with a leprechaun guarding a pot of gold? And boom, it just literally started opening up Blender and creating this, this leprechaun with a pot of gold. So, I mean, it's not amazing, but you can see where this is going. And there's actually a plugin here to use something called Hyper 3D with Roden, which you could you could get as well. And it actually does, uh, so if I click here, Hyper 3D Roden, you can get a, an API key and it'll actually start creating some slightly better assets using Blender. But I used to use Blender. I built a game like three, four years ago, and it was a ton of work to work in Blender and pay 3D guys to work in Blender and do all this stuff. It's so much work. If you can have AI do this for you with just an MCP plugin like this, it's it's pretty incredible. It's kind of an AGI moment for me. And I think that as this MCP universe expands and you can use this to run other applications on your computer, if it's Excel, you know, whatever it could be, right? You can basically have MCPs running entire computers, doing entire jobs that people could potentially be doing, right? Using these MCPs. So we're just getting into this world, but I wanted to bring you this video. I wanted to show you how this works so that you can kind of get a feel for this for yourself and start jumping into this world yourself. So if you like this video, give it a like. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more AI tutorials just like this, and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of what's going on in the world of AI, of MCPs, and if you have any questions on this stuff, drop a comment and I'll do my best to answer your questions.